शुक्र The Manitoba Ethnocultural Advisory and Advocacy Council, or MIAC, is a council made up of different members from ethnocultural communities in Manitoba. Our job is to provide advice, information and recommendations to the minister responsible for multiculturalism. We really wanted to focus on the issues affecting newcomer youth, and we know IRCOM has a wonderful reputation, so we wanted to work with them. IRCOM stands for the Immigrant and Refugee Community Organization of Manitoba. It's a transitional housing program for new Canadians, both immigrants and refugees, and we provide uh, transitional housing as well as a whole set of other programs and services to new Canadians in their first uh, three years of stay in, in Winnipeg. The children when they first come here you know they don't know anyone and they're shy and they come here and a lot of the other kids know what they're going through because they don't they didn't speak English when they first came here. Kids are more into hip-hop stuff, music making, uh, documentary, all this and uh, what we do is uh, use this as a platform for kids to engage in positive activities and also uh, to create stories for other kids who will come in the future. The Crown Boys is a group of kids who used to live here. They started making their first songs and writing their first songs here. And now they have grown into a bigger group, you know, you know more well-versed with hip-hop and they have their own albums. The other good thing is that they are going to school and some of them have graduated from high school and are going to university and they're also doing this as part of their life. They're really good kids. They were mentors for the hip-hop program when we were doing it last year. We asked hip-hop artists to come in and work with the kids to come up with their own raps and lyrics, expressing their thoughts and feelings, and so we learned a lot about the issues from this medium. My name is Indo BC, but my hip-hop name is Indo. Make some noise! Like I'm here for three days, so the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The first day we wanted to discuss just problems and things that you feel like that are, like, I guess, uh, hindering your, your progress. When we make music or when we make uh, rap or whatever, or hip hop, it has to have a message, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. So, first of all, when we start, we're going to talk a few things that's going to help us identify what we're going to talk about, yeah, in our music. We sat down with the kids for the first part of the evening and we asked them questions. What kind of challenges do you face at home, at school? Um, what needs do you have? What can we do to make things better? The thing that makes it hard for me is like uh, you never feel uh, real safe. Mm -hmm. You never be able to feel, to feel real safe and like walk around like there's nothing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the, and the easy things and the good things is like you can make Friends, good friends, yeah. easily. We, we introduce beats and writing some of their problems and issues. How many of you guys want this, this beat? Maybe. Can I want to give you guys some pens and paper? It's a different form of expression, like when you write things down. After you read it back, like we were discussing with some of the kids, like they didn't even know it was them who wrote that and it gave you a confidence and stuff. So when you start writing things down, it's a different form of expressing yourself. My name is Rami. I'm from Sudan, but originally I'm from Ethiopia. I feel like fresh. I feel like so exciting to write the rap. Like I feel so happy because I wrote it. What kind of things do you write about? I don't know, like different stuff like war. Sometimes like about mothers, about parents. Actually it depends. It depends what do you feel, what war, what love, this kind of stuff. I would like exciting to like do the next day for the program because I write my song. My own song. So what we do here at Aircom, we appreciate what kids bring to this country, uh, help them in excelling in what they like most and then introduce other things slowly by slowly. My name is Jima and uh, my age is 15. What? Oh, Orange, come on. I used to do rap in my language in my country. This is my first time I have to rap by English. If you work harder, you can learn English faster. 
you, you, girl, you don't like me, you like me, you like me. I love you too, I love you too. That's what I think about. My name is Nemo Hassan Abdi, and I'm from Somalia. Oh, I'm, my name is Ismaimo Harun. I'm from Yemen. This is the first time we make raps or something like this. When I come to Canada, oh my God, I can't speak English or I can't like, I can't talk, I can't understand you. Hip hop right now, what they're playing on TV is more male oriented, like in a sense that they demean uh, women. She doesn't look a certain way, she's not in the video. So as a girl, it's like they're thinking, okay, where do I fit in? My name is Samson. I came from Sudan. First time I came to Aircom was a week or two weeks after I after I came to Canada, but I didn't know anything about it. It's a chance for me to express my feelings and my emotions. Like if you think about it, you can't just go outside and be like, oh I'm sad. They don't even care. But if you bring it in a way that they can hear you, like they can enjoy it too, it's be like better. Some people when they're angry, they turn to violence because that's a way of expression or getting that out. So for me, like it's like a therapeutic. It's like you feel different, right? You feel like a weight is off off of you, and you express this. My name is Thomas, A.K. Young Wayne. I'm from Sudan. I'm 13 years old. I wrote the song about Africa because they've been in a lot of war and struggle now. They should have like time to have a smile. Yeah, I like program because there is rapping and like, nice people here and they help you. My name is Eve and I'm 13 years old. I have my, my brother and my family and that's why I'm just enjoying making my songs. Yeah, my name is Elvis and I'm 14, I came from Congo. Kinda like we came from far, eh? like Africa so far. Eh? I was like, yo, here we came to study and and like be somebody in your life, eh? Yes, of course. Like two how days to practice. practice. Uh, take a paper, just getting over it and over and over and over. And do you guys need your paper still? This is my head now. <laughs> Uh, my full name is Ozzy Igbe Michael, my baptism is Otaigbe, but everyone calls me Ozzy. Their passion for music inspires me greatly, their creativity. Yeah. Yo, come over. I need you to be loud, Hi. okay? Life is hard. All I want is my face. No races. I just want to make it, make it a great place. Smile for the kids. It's about people, people going outside. Some people can't go outside because there's too much gang outside. My rap is for everybody. Anybody who felt like somebody was being was being bad to him because of his color. So you ask yourself, why this Why this is happening? Are you going to perform tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try. It's, it's going to be so... I'm, I'm so nervous right now. I, I'm so nervous that I keep on forgetting some, some of the lines. My name's Loa Olafsson. I started doing hip hop when I was about 12 and just fell in love with it. This is my first workshop actually teaching for ERCOM at ERCOM. So it's just rewarding when they finally do figure out how to do that movement. My name is Asher and I'm, uh, I'm 12 years old and I'm from uh, America, Tanzania. I feel like uh, I'm trying to to something good, it's give me energy. First to dance hip hop, it's not easy, you have to practice very hard. Yeah, 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 here we go. Yeah. So are you guys gonna perform tomorrow? Yes. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> I think you guys are ready. Yeah, we're ready. I, I taught you guys a lot, but I think you're definitely ready. They're gonna take me to um, a theater tomorrow. Oh, oh my God! Theater? Yes. Oh, you know this, Ellis Theater? Yes. The DJ is extremely late, but it's okay. We've got the music. They're having fun. Stop me so you all better watch. Alright, who's next? I'm Annie!
not gonna remember it. Like we have a big crowd. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of good talent. These guys didn't have a year to prepare. They didn't have months to prepare. They didn't even have a week to prepare. They had what? One, two, three, four days. Four days to get this stuff down for tonight. And I really liked the fact that they decided to actually get a message out and it took a lot of courage to get up there. They want it so badly, I can see it in their eyes. Coming up with such wonderful performance, it's it's such a nice feeling, you can't imagine. I mean, I speak for myself, but I, I think I also speak for the kids because I see the pride in their faces. It's such a wonderful feeling. Wow, that was, that was amazing. I think it was amazing, actually. I thought it was awesome. Their talent is amazing. And if that's what they can do in a week, I'd like to see what they can do in a month or a year. Make it happen. Make positive things go down. God start who I am. I born in as hard as stop. My never heard like a hard stop. I'm on a 95 building. Jim in the 95 building. Awesome D, awesome, awesome D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we go. We are the girl in hijab. Everybody talk about our job. Yeah. Everybody's gonna know who we are. Cause we're gonna be the biggest stars ever. Yeah, yeah. One I see is the African smile Living like they haven't seen it for a while Too much work, too much anger On the motherland, how come we stay? 